Welcome to Tone Bogans. This is the second last episode of season one. It's kind of a two-parter as well, but we're going to look at five steps that I go through when I'm setting up to record. So step one is I set up my amp first because I don't want that to get in the way of recording later. I don't want to interrupt my creative flow. I just want it all set up, ready to go when I need it. I'm using a pencil condenser, which you can go and have a look at the Mike vs. DI episode to get a little bit more information on this topic. And the reason I use the pencil condenser again is because it's a little bit flatter than a dynamic mic. And I just prefer the sound of it. You don't have to have a pencil condenser. This one's a super lux. It's very cheap and it does the job. I'm using it right now to record dialogue. You can use whatever mic you like. You don't have to listen to me. But in terms of steps, it's probably a good idea to have this ready to go. Step two is really easy. You just pick your genre. I like to set myself some parameters when I make a song. So mostly I do this in my drones. I'll be like, I want this particular sound in this drone. And then I try and make it work. It doesn't always work. So be open to that as well. You're not always going to have what's in your head translate into your music, but you might come close. So don't give up. Just keep going until you've created something in the genre and the parameters that you've set for yourself. Next step is to pick the guitar. And this is directly related to choosing your genre, especially if you step outside of ambient and drones and soundtrack music. If you're making a funk guitar line, you're not going to use a metal guitar. So I would probably not use my LTD guitar for that. I would probably use a Telecaster or a Strat for a funk line. But if you only have one guitar, that's fine. We're going to also run through some of my guitars in a later episode or just a standalone video because I do have a lot of guitars that are set up specifically for sound and tone. And they are, they're kind of like a sound effect in and of themselves as well. But I don't want to digress too far into that for this episode. So step four is pick the pedals. My lo-fi rig is pretty much always set up, ready to go. But if, for example, I wanted to use, I've just put this there for display, but if I wanted to use the Mel 9 in a drone, I probably would have a very minimal chain of effects. I'll always have compression, that's literally not negotiable. Compression always. But I might not have a delay because that pedal doesn't interact that well with the delays that I have. I might just kind of keep it really simple and have the Mel 9 and maybe the Big Sky together with my compressor and if I want something a little bit different I might also put a phaser in there as well or some kind of modulation behind the Mel 9. That way you can keep it a little bit cleaner in the chain and you don't have extra noise from pedals that you're not even using as well. I tend to kind of go with genre and go, what genre am I using? What would be something outside of that genre to put into that chain to make it my own? So that might be a handy tip for you as well. The fifth and final tip for setting up to record, this is the best part, creativity time. You just noodle around and you work out what chords or what riffs you want to play. I didn't put in my composition video and that is if you're stuck listen to another genre that has nothing to do with what you want to record somebody picked up 
and thank you as well for noticing that I have a lot of metal influence in my tracks. It's true. I really do have a lot of metal influence in my tracks. I import that into something that wouldn't ordinarily have that as an influence and then I make that my own. So I think a lot of my lo-fi ambient is probably very metal oriented, whereas my drone stuff, I try and be a little bit more experimental. And also in this step, step five, this is where I tweak all the delay parameters and the length of the reverb decay and all of that fun stuff so that it's all ready to go. This is a very short episode, I know, but I want to keep them accessible as a resource so that you're not listening to a whole bunch of other crap that I'm talking about that's irrelevant. So just these last two, trying to keep them a little bit shorter than the rest of the Tone Bogan stuff. Then you can refer back to them later. The next episode will be recording directly into Logic. I know that not all of you use Logic, but you can transfer that over. Those steps will be transferable and those skill sets will be transferable as well. So thank you for watching, as always. Drop a comment below, because I want to steal your ideas and make a video about that later. Thank you, and you're welcome. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe, or at least like the video. And I will see everybody later. Thank you for watching. Bye.